G'day mate, welcome back to Captain History with me, GD. Today's episode, today's episode is going to be all about that black gold. Um, no, I'm not talking about the coffee or the amount of coffee I'm drinking to uh, keep up with my Captain History addiction. I'm talking about oil. We're going to be setting up another oil build. This one is going to be um different again different again um i have a small problem i have a small hydrogen problem i don't have nearly enough hydrogen to keep up with my demand where are you going truck bye okay okay um i have a small hydrogen problem i a, a, a very tiny hydrogen problem as in i don't have enough uh we did set up the quartz contract but um that requires hydrogen and i don't have nearly enough and the reason i don't have enough is um I actually have too much diesel. I know, it's a really weird problem to have. So today's episode, today's episode, we're going to be setting up a, uh, a whole new oil build to make a whole bunch of hydrogen. At the same time, I'm planning on using that hydrogen in the future to burn for power. We'll get to why in just a second. But at the same time, as always, I need to thank you guys. I need to thank you guys for coming back for yet another episode. I need to thank you guys for liking the videos. I need to thank you guys for the wonderful comments. And I need to give a big shout out, a big thank you to those that are going above and beyond, those that are going above and beyond to keep the channel ad free. Today, we're going to be thanking uh, the wonderful Harrow2400, who has promised to drive this truck at least till the year 2400, which is great because we're in the year 1169. Uh, today's episode, today's episode, uh, like I said, uh, I have a small problem with, with, with lack of hydrogen, lack of hydrogen, which has led, led to, uh, my trade box for solar cells is full because I can't get rid of the quartz fast enough because I can't say sell the quartz because I can't process the quartz. Yes. Uh, at the same time, we need to talk about some of the changes. Uh, first change we might notice is research is not running. Let's enable research. Okay, uh, with research now enabled, we are this close to finishing celibate recycling. Once that's done, all the tech is done. At the same time, I have updated uh, this side of the map. I've moved all the copper to one end. I've also swapped it all over to arc furnaces, which means I'm using a lot more teraflops than I was previously, along with a lot more power. Uh, speaking of power, I've put down just a solar cell or two around the farms. There ain't a lot of free space left. Uh, in fact, I've planned out my next uh, four nuclear dumps and and left at that. So we uh, have to, because I have no other choice, start putting solar cells over here uh, beside the housing on the trash land, which I'm really uh, uh, upset about. I really wanted to reserve that trash land for future trash projects. Not that I had any future trash projects over here, but, you know, I, I'm, I've sort of run out of room. I've run out of room entirely. Um, Actually, I could probably extend this out one more tile and get in a few more panels. Well, let's hope not. All right. Uh, at the same time, I've also started planning out panels on this side. And speaking of trash, I have started creating a new landmass, a new landmass over here for potentially more housing because we have 300 workers and I know for a fact I'm going to need more. Um... My next option would be to remove everything in this little section, which is um a lot of infrastructure. I do not want to rearrange this. I don't want to rearrange this. Um, eventually, eventually I'll run out of a need to have more people. Eventually. Uh, okay, so today's episode. Oh, oh, we're also still mining out the coal. There's a little bit of coal left, not a lot. We're still mining out the copper, uh, the iron. There's a little bit of iron left. We've removed most of the copper ramp. Really? Please go remove the ramp. I want the ramp done. Uh, we're also still removing uh, giant swaths of the back of the map. In fact, uh, I want to remove all those boxes because uh, I don't see us needing to chain storage this way. We'll probably just branch off here if we choose to keep going this way. We're still using the chain storage method wherever possible. And yes, uh, we're still removing giant chunks of the back of the map. Uh, we can remove those. Okay. We also still have a low supply of construction parts for, mainly because I spent a whole bunch of them on the arc furnaces. Oh, oh, and we're also digging into the actual sand pit. We're actually digging well and truly into the sand pit currently, which is great because it means I don't need to have all these workers running, converting rock into sand because we're digging sand. Um, there's a good chance I'm going to need to do something about turning these guys on in the future to actually have more sand, uh, to actually have more glass, to actually get in more coal because I've actually had to start bringing coal into this box because our glass trade is not keeping up, uh, which means there might be an upgrade to the glass smelter in the not too distant future. I've redone copper. I don't think I'm going to need more copper. I say that out loud 
and then realize that time and time again, when I say these things, I need more of whatever it happens to be. I did work out how to rearrange copper to get in eight of these. Should I need to? I really, really, really don't want to. And we have just finished sediment recycling, which means if I head into the tech tree, just so uh, nobody can complain in the comment section that I haven't finished all the tech in the game, it's now officially done, which means you're going to get re removed from the list. You're going to get paused and we're going to bring out the delete key and I'm going to get rid of that belt plus that belt, that belt, that belt, that belt, that, that, that lab, that lab, that lab, that lab, and that lab. And then we're going to uni all that because it's costing us precious frames and we don't have a lot of them. All right. I want to free up this area because... Uh, I'm doing maintenance three here and maintenance two here. Realistically, I have access to, uh, no, no electric like trunks. Uh, what's the other item you need? Ha ha. Mechanical parts, mechanical parts. I have access to mechanical parts here, which in theory, I should be able to get over here without extreme amounts of trouble. Uh, actually, in fact, I think I'm going to bring it. Well, it's a really bad belt, but I can bring it straight over the top of the machines, uh, branch down my electronics two, two, uh, and therefore do maintenance two right on the back of my maintenance one machines and free up this these extra three plants here to make more maintenance three because maintenance two is okay-ish, not really, and maintenance three is um, borderline as well. Um, as we keep expanding things, I keep, ha keep needing... More, more and more maintenance. Uh, at the same time, one thing I do want to look at is I also want to look at extending my vehicle parts one and vehicle parts two builds, um, mainly because they are they're very, very profitable items to trade now. Very, very profitable. Uh, oh, actually, I should also mention I also added an extra assembly machine to construction parts two. Three, two, and one, because, well, I need more of them. Um, so, oh, I missed the belt. Uh, delete. Cool. Uh, yes, um, where were we? Uh, vehicle parts, vehicle parts, vehicle parts. Very, 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 very profitable item to trade now. Uh, after the recent updates under contracts, we're currently doing eight modules ship. We're currently doing a vehicle parts to crude oil, but there is also a vehicle parts two so there's vehicle parts for iron and if you're gonna do iron probably this one probably this one um it's gonna cost you about 800 iron to get in 2100 iron not that we've mined out enough iron yet that it's really even worth worrying about but it is a very good option the other one and this was the one i was looking at uh vehicle parts for uranium ore that's a lot of vehicle parts for a lot of uranium ore in saying that, if I chopped you down to a two-module ship, 360 uranium, uh, 360 uranium, and if we ran two reactors of 360 uranium, which would be 24 per per, per month, uh, it would be 15 months worth, um, which is only 300 vehicle parts, which is, what, 20? 20 per month? Uh... 300 divided by 15 months is 20, which is two machines, two machines. Two machines I could have in enough uranium to run two extra reactors for 15 months. Well, 15 months before the, the ship has to move, which means I can put it on the longest contract, uh, the, the, the cheapest fuel options, and this is only a two-module ship. It's a very, very small boat, yes. Uh, so... That's something I'm looking at. I'm something uh, I'm looking at. So hence, with all this room opened up, I have options again. All right, uh, contracts, contracts. That's exactly what I want to talk about. I want to talk about our existing contract, which is this one. We're currently doing 205 vehicle parts for 380 crude oil. Three, go, 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 yeah, up there. 380 crude oil. Uh, I have large modules, which means we can unload the ship in one month, and the ship takes three months to travel, which means uh, I can move the ship in and out every four months, which means potentially, on a per-month basis, I'm getting in 770 crude oil, which is a lot. It's an awful lot. It also meant that uh, 
I was not actually unloading this ship fast enough. I only had one single 450 pipe going to a tank, so I had to rearrange this whole area to get more crude oil into here. Also means that if we're running this at full speed, which now potentially we can, uh, what was it? 3080 over four months. And then each crude oil processing, each distillery, distillery uh, uses 54 crude oil. Mm, yeah, each machine uh, means I could run 14.26 uh, machines, machines uh, non-stop, non-stop on just this contract. So with that in mind, I decided rather than try to modify the existing crude oil builds and trying to make sure I had enough hydrogen, because that's my issue. I, if we scroll over here and we look at these guys, if we look at any one of these, they just don't have enough hydrogen. The reason they don't have enough hydrogen is we're just not, we're not running fast enough. Okay. Um, we have our first oil build. Our first oil build is like an all-rounder oil build. It does a little bit of everything. It produces a little bit of naphtha. A little bit of naphtha uh, leaves in, I don't know, one of these pipes. Mm, that pipe. That pipe. Off that balancer. It leaves in one of these pipes. It pops over to the oil. Wrong pipe. That pipe. That pipe. It leaves over to the rubber build. Also leaves over the plastic build. It, we use a little bit of naphtha. Um, most of the naphtha, in fact. Uh, it also produces a little bit of hydrogen in these guys. Uh, the catch is, like, if these three are running flat out, which generally they are sometimes, maybe, uh, we need to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of these. Uh each using three hydrogen each in rows, uh, four to a row, I need to have 108 hydrogen per month. Oh, per, per, per minute, per constantly. 108, 108. I don't have 108, okay? These guys are not running fast enough. Uh, even if they were 36 a piece, where are we? Which one's the hydrogen plant? That one, that one. Uh, even if they were, a certain amount of hydrogen disappears to crack naphtha into diesel or... Where are we? Uh, crack, heavy in a naphtha, or so on and so forth. A certain amount of hydrogen is used up by the build before it exits. So this tank is always empty, so I don't have enough hydrogen. Uh, on top of that, I can use hydrogen to burn it for, you know, power. And as I just added a whole bunch of... Go away, all little boxes. Yes. As I added a whole bunch of arc furnaces, I, I'm going to need more power. I, I definitely know I'm going to need more power. Probably going to need more teraflops. I have... You're full. Uh, I have plenty of teraflops. I also have plenty of servers, which means I'm going to pause all you guys. And we're probably going to finally enable U3 instead. We can finally get some uni uh, from laptops, consumer electronics. Okay, so uh, I decided with, if I have all this extra oil, we might as well do something with it. So we are going to build this little pipe this little pipe's an important pipe it pops over here and in and in yes yes that's the pipe we're currently building okay so uh i've brought it over to our our great crude oil balancer okay this is where we already have the other pipe coming in uh for our crude oil uh, which runs into the first oil build, okay? First oil build, like I said, is a little bit of an all-rounder. Our second oil build, its main priority is to make diesel, okay? So it converts everything, all the heavy directly to diesel, all the naphtha directly to diesel. It also kicks out the naphtha first in this little balancer. Uh, it kicks the naphtha over to this system because this system actually has extra cracking for extra naphtha. Um, and also it kicks over here and then kicks over to plastic and rubber first okay uh on top of that any anything left over blah 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 all the fuel gas can be converted into hydrogen here but these guys are not running terribly well either so i decided you know what we're gonna build a whole new oil build so uh first thing is we're gonna build this pipe uh which is gonna come into just that whole mess and uh, let's get that done as well uh also the other thing i have a problem with is sour water uh, of course I picked the one time when the boat's not here and the pipe's empty. I have a problem with sour water. Um, we've actually had smelting off for a little while, mainly because the base hasn't been doing a whole lot because I actually, in all my deconstruction, 
overloaded on construction part two and construction part three but then i know i'm about to spend a whole lot and i'll be poor again so when the base is running normally and we're storing up construction parts as per normal i have a lot of slag a lot of slag therefore i have a lot of sour water in fact as soon as this boat comes back right about now i have like you know 800 800 what is the contract 872 sour water i need to deal with preferably within four months which is 872 divided by four months is 218 sour water i need to deal with per month which each sour water machine deals with exactly 36 uh divided by 36 which means I need six dedicated machines. Six dedicated machines. I don't have six dedicated machines. I have a drib and drab of, uh, like, these guys could do a little bit of processing, and these guys could do a little bit of processing, and these guys could do... There's a whole lot of little bits of processing here, there, and everywhere. So, why... Daniel, what... what oh. Where are you trying to take that? How about... No. Okay. All right, with that out of the way. All right, our plan is a new oil build. Now, new oil build, uh, like I said, I can run 14.26 uh, of the distillery stage one. So we already have uh, four running, eight running. Uh, this is going to take us up to 12 running, okay? Uh, I'm going to make sure I try and get all the pipes. I'm also expecting a lot of pipes to be backward, and I'll have to flip them, because as you can see, they're currently all in their blue state, which means I have no idea if I've plugged them in the right way. Okay, uh, we're going to bring in, hopefully, your crude oil. You're not crude oil. Your steam. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, steam. Ah, that's crude oil. That's crude oil. Perfect. We're going to bring in a whole bunch of crude oil. We're going to run a bunch of crude oil into these guys after I hook up their steam. They are going to output. Uh, this is where the, mag the numbers become magical. Okay, so... Uh, each one of these modules needs 72 steam and it outputs 24 heavy uh, from stage one, uh, plus the sour water. The sour water we're just ignoring for the moment. Uh, also outputs 144 diesel and also outputs 48 naphtha and 72 fuel gas. Fuel gas we can convert right into hydrogen. That makes life nice and easy. Okay. Uh, next up, next up, uh, we have the next module little here. The next little module here, which is those six machines. Uh, okay. These are going to convert diesel. I know, I know. I'm going to convert diesel. I'm going to get rid of my diesel and convert it in that thumb. Now, main reason I need to do that is a couple of reasons. One is this pipe here. This pipe here is going to take at least 12 naphtha because I don't have processing power for 12 of the naphtha I'm going to be producing and dumping it in here, which will then uh, continue that pipe along and dump it into uh, this build here. This build here can process a little bit of naphtha. Hopefully it's 12. Uh, this build here can also process a little bit of naphtha. Hopefully it's 12. Uh, and that'll get rid of some of my naphtha. The rest of it, we're going to be converting... Uh, well, we're going to be converting yeah, diesel into naphtha. So we have already, uh, how much naphtha was it? 48 naphtha. After I convert all the diesel into naphtha, we then go up to a total of, uh, I've got the number here. Ah, 156 naphtha. 156 naphtha at this point. So after I have 156 naphtha, I need to choose to do something with it. Which means it's going to come into uh, one, two, three, four, five, six machines. Six machines? Yes, yeah, six machines to about here, I hope. All right. We're going to take all that naphtha. We're going to add steam to it because steam is easy to get. And we're going to convert it to fuel gas. Again, we're going to get more sour water. So there's something that's through all this process. All this process is going to add more sour water. Don't forget, more sour water means more ammonia. More ammonia means uh, more fertilizer. We all like some fertilizer. Okay. So we're going to continue this all the way down here, and we're going to convert all the naphtha to, sour, uh, to, to fuel gas, which means that I have my original 72 fuel gas. So originally we had fuel gas, plus we had naphtha, plus we had heavy oil, and we had diesel. We simplified that by removing the diesel. So now it's all heavy oil, heavy oil, naphtha, or fuel gas. We've then simplified that again by removing the naphtha from the equation. So now we're just down to heavy oil and fuel gas. And then we're going to take all of that fuel gas and we're going to run it into the last system because we have how much fuel gas? Ah, we have uh, 252 fuel gas at this stage. And each one of these machines uses 36 fuel gas. Means I'm going to have 17 machines cranking out hydrogen. 
which is a one-to-one -one basis, which means I'm going to be having uh, a lot of hydrogen. 252 hydrogen. As, if we remember our quartz build, it only needs 100. We should be good. Should be good and then some. Okay, uh, so that should get rid of, in theory, all of my... All, all my products except the heavy oil the heavy oil we spoke about earlier uh also it won't get rid of any of the sour water so the sour water sour water is going to come out the end it's then going to duck under this bridge can i just get you guys built please duck under this bridge and into this balancer this balancer has a pipe hopefully it's the right pipe uh that's not complete excellent uh, this pipe, which just grabs some sour water off the main sour water import off the boat, okay? And as always, it's going to come through a balancer, so we can prioritize to use our own sour water first, make sure we get rid of that stuff first before we use any of the sour water from that pipe, which at some stage got downgraded in size. Yeah, three to a two. Perfect. All right. And then we have our waste not want not systems. We're all familiar with these by now, at least I hope. And we have... Uh, one, two, three of these. Okay. With all three of these, uh, each producing, where are we? These guys. Each producing 30 fertilizer, Mark two, two of them, so 60. Gives me another 60, 120, 180 uh, fertilizer, Mark two, which we have already taken the liberty of dumping into our grand fertilizer pipe which will then run into the grand fertilizer uh, bucket, which will then run off to the farms. Uh, not enough workers. I knew that was going to happen. Minus 201, which means housing, unpause. Here, have another solar panel. Yay, that made all the difference. Okay. Ooh. All right. So, uh, we've simplified things a little bit. We've got a whole lot processed up and running, but of course, I need steam to get all this running. So, I have two steam systems right here. Uh, yeah, two of them. Uh, we have... I have a pipe problem. Uh, I need to change that pipe and that pipe. Cool. All right. Uh, I have two, two, two uh, systems here. First off, we have... Okay, first off, water. Water. We are collecting up all... No, that's not the water pipe. That's the water pipe. We are collecting up a whole bunch of water. A whole bunch of water from sour water strippers, uh, from nuclear power plants, from all sorts of things, and bring them to this one balancer. One balancer is then going to bring all the water into this mess and run it into the whoop, 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 uh, these guys to start with. Okay, these guys you're pretty familiar with, uh, even though they're slightly blue in color, they're boilers. Uh, they burn coal, they create steam. Okay, we need to, these guys to start the system. We need these guys to start the system, kick the system off, get it up and running. Uh, helps if they have a recipe, it turns out. Okay, they're going to make steam. Uh, steam's going to come into a balancer. We have a priority in, not the coal boilers. And they're going to dump steam into this system that hopefully I've got all the pipes around the right way. Uh, probably can I upgrade you. What else do I have backward? That pipe looks to be backward. No, that pipe's backward. Uh, does that mean no it's correct on that one but backward on that one because yes that's an output pipe all right we'll find out okay these guys are going to create some steam to get the system up and running on top of that if we remember back to our start we still had the six heavy oil multiplied by four that i'm not using so that six heavy oil is going to come into i want to go with you two correct heavy oil uh, I need to hook that into there and just build that quickly. And I also need to upgrade that pipe, I think. 
right, so we're going to have some heavy oil. Some heavy oil is going to come into these two boilers. Uh, I have six times six times four, which is 24, which will give me 48 steam. This is why we have this balance in here as a priority to make sure we're going to use this steam. On top of that, I have these three here. These three here. Uh, we're going to be bringing in crude oil. We're going to be adding some steam to it. So I need to have steam up and running first. Hence the coal boilers to prime the system. Uh, then we're going to get medium oil, heavy oil, and sour water. Now, sour water, we already know we've got a giant sour water processing system. We should be able to clear all the sour water. But the heavy oil, I have three times heavy, well, three lots of heavy oil here, which is enough to run one of these boilers at... I only changed the recipe on one of them. Good job, JD. Good job. Good job. Okay. Run one of these boilers at three quarters normal speed. So rather than getting 48 steam, I'm going to get like 36 steam. But 36 steam is better than no steam. Okay. On top of that, these guys output medium oil and a decent amount of medium oil. 48 medium oil each. Uh, of course, it's going to burn crude, but I don't mind. We already worked out I could run 14.4 of these guys. So 48 uh, medium oil times by three is 144 medium oil. 144 medium oil is going to come into these guys, which are going to burn 36 apiece. Divided by 36 means I can run four of these guys non-stop to get out, uh, to get out, well, to get steam, to get steam, to get steam. Also, same type, a lot of exhaust. Should mention a lot of exhaust. There's going to be a lot of exhaust and other things we're going to be gathering from this system. So I have four of these guys running, plus a heavy oil running, plus a three quarters of a heavy oil running, which means I have 5.75 of these guys outputting 48 steam each, which is 276 steam, which is a good amount. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's enough to feed this whole system. If not, we have a couple of coal boilers in as a backup, just in case it's not. Uh, yeah, you're already firing. You're not that far behind. You need that pipe upgraded. Uh, yeah, because we have 36 times by, uh, which means that pipe and that pipe, that pipe, thank you, need to be upgraded as well. There's going to be a lot of mismatched size pipes. Uh, heavy oil should be fine. Medium, you need to be upgraded as well. Okay, so uh, in theory, in theory, this should create uh, plenty of plenty of steam, steam to run itself. At the same time, any diesel it makes, it's, it destroys instantly. Uh, any naphtha it makes, it destroys instantly. At the same time, when all the steam gets to the end, providing I have all the pipes going the right direction, the fact that there's no steam in there indicates that either we just don't have enough pressure yet. No, you're running. You're running, you're running, you're running. You have steam, which is good. You have steam. You have steam. Okay, excellent. Uh, we're also going to create a whole bunch of hydrogen. At the same time, we're also going to create a whole bunch of CO2. The CO2 goes into this pipe, which we're going to upgrade, because we have 200... And, for every piece of hydrogen we have, we have one piece of carbon dioxide. Now, the carbon dioxide, don't forget, we turn that into graphite, which we can run in our brand new arc furnaces. Uh, that's the hydrogen pipe. Yes, yes. Uh, which also needs an upgrade. Okay, build out those guys. Uh, I didn't... No, I did upgrade you, and I did upgrade you. Okay, so we should get a whole bunch of uh, get a whole bunch of hydrogen and a whole bunch of CO2. The whole bunch of CO2 we are going to, if I can find the right pipe, that pipe, that pipe, is going to pop across here, uh, duck its way all the way out into helps if that pipe exists into the giant tank, which we will hopefully be able to process. Well, we can definitely process it fast enough. Uh, in fact. When I say 200 and it's 36 times, 36 times seven is 252, uh, minus 144, I'm gonna need at least another one point something machine. So can I just copy, let's just copy that. And we'll put you right here, back the connectors onto one another, that way they won't interconnect and we're going to wrap you into that pipe uh, 
Let's just get the pipe done at least. How are you a different length? The machines? The machines are straight. I just connected the pipe to different connecting room, whatever. Whatever. Uh, we also wrap the belt into that belt. That belt. I still have enough room to put a balancer in here. Should, and we're going to need to, we're going to need to as we upgrade more machines. Should we need to get in a second sort of source of graphite from the other, the other method, the other method. Okay. Uh, as for our hydrogen pipe, wherever the hell that is, uh, that one, that one. The hydrogen pipe is going to pop over here. It's going to duck underneath this bridge all the way through here and drops off into this balancer, which then hopefully, uh, hang on, I got to remember how this balancer works. So these guys provide hydrogen into their own system first, and then their excess gets kicked into this balancer. This balancer runs hydrogen into this pipe, which takes it over here, which then this pipe wraps all the way around the map into our uh, concrete slab build, uh, which is low on workers. Yep. Uh, population is full. Awesome. All right. And oh, wow, we're 100 workers down. Okay, we'll see about whether, whether I can do something about that in a second. On top of that, uh, the rest of the hydrogen, if it can't go that direction, comes in here, goes in the tank. Tank runs these guys. One thing that has been turned off for a very, very long time due to my lack of hydrogen is these four guys here. These four guys were burning hydrogen uh, rather than burning coal to make steam to power both the first two oil belts. So I want to turn these guys back on. Again, we have a priority in here to make sure we're using this steam over that steam, which will save me coal. Of course, I could burn coal for power instead, or I could burn hydrogen for power. And that's really the thing I want. I want to have plenty of hydrogen left over so I can run this system. These guys flat out have all the quartz in the world. Uh, that's still not full. Okay, so it means either I broke something or it's still firing up. Uh, you're running, you're running, you're running, you're running, you're not running. Well, I've definitely got enough steam. You're full. Into. Oh! I know for a fact I have more than 200. This system needs more than 200 steam to fire it up and run it at full speed. So it was one of those, you need to make the pipe bigger, JD. Much bigger. Much bigger. All right, with those done, uh, that's heavy oil. That could be in a skinny pipe. That's medium. That needs to be in a bigger pipe. Sour water should be fine in a 200 pipe. Yeah, it's not 100% full. It's close. It's not 100% full. Uh, so we should be good there. That's the medium oil. That's the heavy oil. Uh, they're all running exhaust, 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 exhaust pops over here, runs through, uh, this mess that we're not going to talk about, uh, and then has two outputs now, two outputs has that one and that one. Uh, which is now running over to two exhaust scrubbers side by side. Ah, I know what you are now. Two exhaust scrubbers side by side, which are both plugged into the carbon dioxide reclamation pipe, which comes over and dumps back into that tank, the great tank we spoke about. And as we can see, by the fact that these guys do how much? So these guys do 60 exhaust each. Okay, uh, which means the exhaust scrubber does 180, which means you and you uh, do done 120. You've done another, well, one, two, three, four. Well, we had 5.75 5 5 of them doing 60 exhaust each, which is 345, and the exhaust scrubber does 180. So I need to have two dedicated exhaust scrubbers for just these guys up and running. I'll do that off camera. You guys don't need to see me try and plug that crap together. Uh, I will probably end up doing it right here or here or here, somewhere here, somewhere here, because we have water, we have the exhaust right here, and I have the CO2 pipe that I can dump into, not that one, that one. I have that CO2 dump uh, pipe that I can dump into locally, and that'll transport over the right spot, which is not overflowing yet. 
it's, it's a good sign. Good sign. Good sign. All right, 117 workers. What can I do about that? Uh, you're paused. You're paused. Uh, you're running. You're paused because I don't need I don't need extra crude oil. Uh, you're the quartz ship that should be now running at full speed. I hope. Uh, so the answer is Chile needs to go back to the town center and increase the population again. Yay! I'm gonna break 1,100. Oh my god! All right. Uh, we're still dumping trash out here as fast as we possibly can um, to try and get ourselves more landmass for pro probably more people. Uh, the other thing that I have set up between episodes that maybe I'll now, ha now have enough workers to run is I've set up another power plant. It's not running yet. I don't want to turn it on just yet. I definitely need to have probably more water than what I have in this tank currently to turn on this power plant. But the idea of this power plant is, you might notice I have... Uh, I, I've scummed myself down to having large cooling towers, mainly because of the constant population issue I'm having. I keep adding more and more people to the colony, and I don't really, really want to add more people. You have a water issue, a fuel issue, exhaust issue. That considered enough power. Okay. Oh, of course, because they spun all the way up and we're waiting for them to spin down. Never mind. All right. Uh, yes, I I would normally run a whole bunch of desalinators, okay? So I had a positive water cycle. My catch is over here. I actually have too much water in the pipes. Uh, these guys are making water. Well, these guys are making water. This is making water. That's a whole bunch of desalinators I'm running. I am taking my water. Uh, so we're taking... <sighs> we're taking our steam. We're dumping our steam into this pipe, which is then running through all these desalinators to then go from uh, 12 water into 24 water. So we double our ma the amount of water we get. Uh, then we run the water back into these guys, and they put a they convert the water back into steam. At the same time, they put out way less exhaust, which means my exhaust scrubber doesn't run nearly as hard, which means I'm actually getting less CO2 uh, on this side of the map. That pipe's not big enough. Oh, no, it is a 200. Okay. Uh, we, we're not getting enough uh, CO2 on this side of the map to run this guy properly. He runs very occasionally. I need to do something about more CO2 over here, which we can do from a, a bunch of different ways. Uh, at the same time, we are chewing a, a, a good portion of that water right here to convert an acid, although the acid tank is very full. The last thing we're doing is we're taking any excess water, which there is some left over still... Hang on, follow the pipe, follow the pipe, follow the pipe, follow the pipe, over to here, which we are then pumping into this side of the map, which then runs into top up the amount of water we use on this side of the map for all the steel smelters, because every single one of these uses 12 water, and that's just consumed, you don't get it back, so I need to have some sort of water input on this side of the map. Also, these CO2 scrubbers, which... Um, as we upgrade this side of the map to the arc furnaces, uh, there we go. Too many teraflops. I knew that would happen eventually as more parts of the base get turned on. Can I have you unpaused and you unpaused? And it looks like I have too much sand. Okay, good to know. Um, get you ready to go. Cool. All right. Uh, wait, wait, wait. As I upgrade this side of the map, because I'm going to have to upgrade this side of the map across to arc furnaces as well. As I upgrade this side of the map, uh, they'll all they'll they'll produce less exhaust, which means I have less of these guys running, which is good. At the same time, they're also going to produce more and more steam, which then we can run in the desal plants to then create more and more water. And yes, um, we may end up with a situation where I have too much water. So I have uh, prepped up the first plant, the first plant right here. Well. The next plant, the next power plant, uh, which will be running coal because we have a surplus of coal. As I've converted these guys across, they're now burning graphite rather than coal. So we have extra amounts of coal I can use for other projects like power, providing I can't put down solar panels fast enough, which currently I haven't been able to because we haven't had enough hydrogen to run the system. Yeah, that's what I was worried. I was worried about rainy weather any weather in the solid not doing as well all right uh, as i was saying um i've, I've swapped these I, I, i've started the process of swapping these guys over these are on a lower power priority than what these guys are so the idea is these guys will run they'll make water 
which will then go into the tank and then excess water from that system i can then use to run these guys i'm gonna actually have to plug this guy in further up the production chain to here which is where we make water from these guys and then somehow work a priority system so these guys get the first lot of water the power plant gets the second lot of water and then the third lot of water gets dumped off to well acid and the everything else everything else uh let's have house up goods really uh lack of steel yeah um it also turns out and something i only just realized we've also maxed out our steel which means i need to extend the steel build yay so uh that is going to be an ongoing project ongoing project for more steel for more household goods for more laptops for everybody uh for more uni bonuses from laptops uh we may notice my uni is still doing pretty good we have a what whatever it's close enough um our food we're we're still having a problem with either vegetables or fruit i can't have enough of them, uh i can't have enough of both of them at the same time the other thing we have is i still have edicts i'm still doing plenty of food number one so if i did turn that off i would suddenly have all the food in the world which is something else i'm still con i'm considering because uh my ethanol pipe Oh, I can save some workers here. My ethanol pipe. My ethanol pipe did fail me. Uh, it is basically empty. Um, we just don't have enough food. I don't have enough food that we're processing in ethanol because that is my sugar cane. Uh, it's also corn, corn mash. Uh, I just don't have enough, e e enough excess food to run into this system to make ethanol to make all the plastic I need. The plastic's keeping up fine, but it's the excess that's been sent across the map to make the rubber that we probably don't need now. I've upgraded the oil build and now we're kicking excess depth or over, so I can probably turn that off as well. All right, uh, which means, yeah, I'm gonna, oh God, they're both unhappy. They're both linked to steel. All right, that means I need to do something about steel. I need to do something about steel. Uh, also something about power for rainy days literally for rainy days uh and with all that said i think this is where we're going to end today's video uh we've got the new oil build up and running it is going to do wonder all right we're not going to look at that uh <laughs> we've got a new oil build up and running obviously maybe i need to tap off some of the hydrogen from this build because now we have excess yes excess on our excess at least we should do uh i should be able to tap some of that off to also do a power plant here somewhere somewhere uh and the best thing about high burning hydrogen is you get back depleted steam you get back to play steam as the output which means technically i could run that through more thermal desalinators to get more water back as well if i could put up with the population cost and the power cost it's mainly the population cost at this point being that we're at 1100 workers and growing anyway with all that said, I'm going to be ending this episode here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next episode with, um, hopefully no more oil. No more oil problems, at least. And, uh, hopefully steel I've managed to fix. I'm going to have to move so many belts. Oh, it's going to be a joy. It's going to be a joy. Oh, also means that, uh, once we get those problems sorted, we can move on to microchips. Yes, because I need more microchips. I need a lot more microchips. So many problems. All right. That's it. I'm out. Thanks for watching. See you next one. Bye.